so in today's lecture we will discuss about the actuation process actuation is simply the process of conversion of one form of energy to mechanical form basically as before this actuation process we have discussed about the sensing so just for a small introduction I'll again repeat the process of mechatronic system that firstly there is a control block of the sensor then there is a processing unit and afterward there is a actuator so sensor provides signal to the controller or processor and based upon the control algorithm it provides a decision to the actuator so basically actuator generally receives a input in the form of electrical signal and then it produces mechanical motion the process is known as the principle of energy transduction a device that accomplishes the conversion is termed actuator actuators play a very important role in automation and control various type of actuators are used depending upon factors including force torque speed of operation accuracy precision power consumption and performance as already indicated the basis of actuation is the method of energy transduction principal energy transduction methods called driving methods these can be mechanical thermal electrical and magnetic and magnetic methods accordingly the commonly available micro actuators are called mechanical actuators electrostatic actuators thermal actuators and magnetic actuators mechanical actuators are broadly categorized into two groups namely mechanical structure based micro actuator and active material based micro actuator there are many structures of micro actuator in which energy transformation takes place in view of this the mechanical structures based micro actuators are beam type cantilever type plate type or membrane type so we'll discuss in detail about this beam type or cantilever type or membrane type for example the plate or membrane type micro actuator are also called as diaphragm type so generally in case of pressure gauges uh, when we need to measure the pressure then we use this membrane type actuator the special geometries of these mechanical structures change when control or by signals are applied to the components validating the principle of actuation the structures go to their original shapes when the control signals are withdrawn so the principle of reversibility holds good here in this application materials which undergo some sort of transformation through physical interaction are referred to as active materials the principle of operation of these actuators is based on the fact that they make use of properties of the material from which they have been constructed some of the important active materials are piezoelectric material and magnetostatic material 
piezoelectric actuators use piezoelectric materials application of a voltage to a piezoelectric material causes a small motion so basically these are the charge carrier based material and due to that charge they produces a motion coming to the magnetostructive material which undergoes a change in shape either due to change in the phase or magnetization state of the material phase change occurs by heat flux whereas state change occurs because of the magnetic field so magnetostructive material such as shape memory alloys like ethanol react to heat whereas ferromagnetic shape memory alloy material such as terphenol d our uh, chemical formula is written here is an example of another magnetostructive material which changes its shape when it is subjected to some magnetic field later on in this unit there is a complete lecture based upon the piezoelectric material and shape memory alloys will be discussed the actuator built with shape memory alloy is called memory metal actuator as material researchers have focused on focus on improving the performance of the different families of active materials during the past few years engineers have been developing ways to use them in designing practical actuating devices the potential application of micro actuators are aerospace structure monitoring system automotive monitoring and control devices fluid control devices and biomedical equipment precision optical components manufacturing and handling precision manufacturing and process monitoring equipments micro assembly this chapter describes mem components as far as mechanical sensor and actuators are concerned in this particular chapter i'll describe the concept principle and application of mechanical sensors and actuators which are specifically used in mems the structure design and their impact on sensing and actuation will be discussed later on the important discussion includes principle of operation design methodology drive mechanism and control methods of pressure sensor flow sensor micro gripper mems gyroscope inchworm actuator now coming to the principle of sensing and actuation the principle of sensing and actuation of mechanical mems it can be a micro sensor or a micro actuator mostly can deliver beam and diaphragm structures form the basis of the mechanical mems piezoelectric materials are used as the active materials piezo electricity concerned with mechanical properties such as stress and strain as we studied in the previous slide that piezo electricity means when a voltage flow through a material it shows some kind of deflection some kind of motion so that motion or deflection means when there is a change in the mechanical properties such as stress and strain this is the reason why piezo electric material based mems device have been classified under a mechanical mems the mechanical mems utilizes the following methods and principles first one is the beam and cantilever method second one is the capacitive method and third one is the 
piezoelectric principle. So in the upcoming lecture, I'll start with these mechanical uh, MEMS-based methods and principle in detail. Thank you.